Where's the zoom? I don't I sound like an 80 year old? Where can you zoom on this thing? Oh, here it is. Fancy. It's very zoomed in. Okay. <laughs> I'm so old. I'm an old soul. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Astrid. I travel and fishing with well. I can never get this thing straight, right? The fashion just never comes out right. Anyway, I do travel and fashion videos every week. And <laughs> this week I wanted to do a little bit of a different video simply because, um, so yeah, I'm doing a video about boarding school, as you've probably seen in the title. Um, simply because I have a French channel that I never upload on. And I had a lot of comments on my video about Germany where I said that it was boarding school. A lot of people asked me to talk about boarding school. So, since I don't do videos in French anymore, I thought I'm gonna do it here. So, let's go. Do you wanna know how sad my life is? I actually asked on Twitter, you guys, hey guys, do, do you have anything about, do you have any question about boarding school? And literally, no one gave a shit. Like, I, I got no answer. So, like everyone normal human being, I went on the Twitter and on the internet and I looked for people who had questions about boarding school and I wrote them somewhere, but I can't seem to find them. Here they are. Okay. Lego. First question is, why did you go to boarding school? I go, I, I go, I go to boarding school. I went to boarding school because this is the past. Uh, I went to boarding school because I live in the countryside and boy when I say I live in the countryside I live in the countryside there's like 600 people in the village where I live so yeah. and I think within like three quarters of an hour around my house is like two high schools but they were not high schools like I wanted to and I went to a boarding school for bilingual kids because I talk too much <laughs> for bilingual kids that is in Rennes, it's called Chateaubriand if anyone from there is watching, big up! I had the time of my life there, it was amazing so yeah, I went to boarding school because there was not many options where I lived and there was a great school two hours away from where I lived and it was a bit annoying to do like two hours in and two hours at back especially since it cost 20 euros to go there so it would be like 40 euros every day and it's just a whole mess uh, next question is what were the rules? So the rules at my boarding school is first of all you had to, we had to be in our uh, rooms every night at nine I believe or maybe half past nine and they like do a face check like the per a person would go around in each room and count everyone and call their names and you had to say yes I'm here and had to show your face so they were sure it was you. So, but that was pretty much the only rule. Like, we're not we were not to go to into the guys' rooms because it was a mixed place. We didn't we weren't weren't allowed to go to the night to into the guys' room after um, like nine o'clock. Obviously, uh, no, actually after eight o'clock we weren't allowed to go into the guys' room. Otherwise, during the day we were allowed to. Officially, uh, people who weren't in the boarding school, because some pupils weren't in the boarding school, so people at like who were students but lived at their parents, were officially not allowed in the in the um, our rooms. However, that did happen like every day. Uh, also, we had cards to get in and out of our doors, so they would pretty much know when we would get out and get in, which made sneaking out quite difficult. <laughs> So yeah, um, but it was fun, like, we also, we would eat, we had weird eating hours, it was like between 6pm and 8pm, which is like, I think really early. Um, did you get your own room or shared and how was it? I got, we had many different options. The two first years I shared my room, room with three other girls and then the last year I was alone and I preferred by far the uh, year with the three other girls. I had the first room I had was with another girl of my year, and with this, with her, uh, we were so close because we had, we were in the same class, we had the same options and um, the same group of friends. So we were, I was with this girl 24/7, and we got on the, like the only day of the week where we wouldn't see each other were on like Saturdays. I love sharing a room because it's, it made it so easy to. Um, to make really 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 close friends and if you have a down day you don't have the option of like s staying in your room and being sad because others will see it so they will always um, 
try to cheer you up and just have makes that you like the phase where you sad don't last as long as if you were alone in your room but um especially well like for people with who I was in the room anyways um there was never problems with privacy because we could close the curtains like we would we shared a room but then you could close the curtains and have your own little cubicle and um the girls respected that when you're when your uh, curtain will close like you have to be left alone so um yeah i preferred definitely definitely preferred a uh, shared room because it was just so much fun and also like after when we were alone we weren't allowed to get out of our rooms after nine so after nine you were alone whereas when you were sharing rooms after nine you were still with your friends and Next question is, is it easy to make friends? Yes, 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 yes. So generally, uh, it's easy to make friends in boarding school because you are living with people and because um, the conditions kind of force you into being close and building a uh, strong friendship. Is there a lot of drama? Well, there's definitely some drama, but I think there's drama like there would be anywhere else. We didn't have worse drama. Um, for one thing, if we ever had drama because all the girls we would and the boys we would make we would make sure that um, we the group would stay together. If they would if they were to be drama, we would do our best to solve it, and we would really all work on that so that people would stop being mad at each other simply because, so that the group could like survive on it so yeah there were definitely drama like there is anywhere else but I don't think it made it worse and if anyone was really trying to be dramatic or to create a condition of drama we would always try to like settle it down and be like okay chill <laughs> but yeah uh, was it like to be in school 24-7? Well, the good thing about it is that if you live your uh, your boarding school experience in the meaning that you abs you have fun, you let you take you invest yourself in the school, you p take part in um, activities and you in in get involved in stuff and you make friends and everything. The school doesn't be doesn't really isn't really like school anymore. Like I remember um, when I was in. Before I went to boarding school, I always dreaded to go back to school. I was like, oh, I really don't want to go there. Like, oh, I just want to stay home with my parents and I'm just not go to school today. Um, in boarding school, I was actually excited to go to school because you go there and you're like, yeah, it's, it's normal school in the day. But then because you're with your friends all day and then all night, <laughs> it kind of doesn't, be, it doesn't feel like school anymore. It just feels like... It feels like a massive summer holidays where you just happen to work a lot. Yeah. Which is like a mix of summer camp and school. And it's pretty much amazing and I loved it. So I really liked being in school 24-7. I definitely had friends who didn't like that. But then again, now that we talk about boarding school again, they still say that they missed it. So uh, would, I, would you do it again? I would totally do it again do it again. I was like, I missed boarding school so much when I left it. It was, I had the best one ever. I, it was just, it was so cool to like be with people, be really good friends with them, learn a lot with them, work hard with them and then still like, it was like work hard and play hard with the same people all the time and it was so much fun and I absolutely loved it. Your favorite and least favorite thing about boarding school? My favorite thing about boarding school is, um, the team spirit that there is, like, um, yeah, there's definitely a really strong team spirit, you're really close to people with whom you live in your room, you're really close to people that, like, share this boarding school experience with you. Um, my least favorite thing about boarding school would be to have to be the food, like, our food was horrendous. It was so gross, like, it was just so bad. <sighs> I gained weight when I was in boarding school simply because the food there was so bad that you would leave the like the eating area frustrated of what you've eaten. So we would eat snacks on the side just so to say, okay, today we've eaten something that wasn't terrible. And when I say terrible, I actually mean it. I went to Germany for two months as because we have to do that in my school. 
and I told my exchange sister, hey, just be prepared, the food there is shit, like it's absolute shit, and she's like, oh, you're being so dramatic about it, you're being so French, it's, I'm sure it's not half as bad, after a week, she's like, oh my god, I'm so fed up, this food is absolute shit, and it really is, it tastes so bad, it looks like nothing, we had cherry, <laughs> we had this cake with cherries on it, and the cherry, you know, like, you know, pink highlighter? The cherry had the color of pink highlighter. It looked nuclear. It looked so bad. Like, sometimes we would just eat things and we're like, why? So yeah, worst thing about boarding school with the food, it was just, oh, it was so bad. And last question, which I knew I was going to have to find in the internet because it's so obvious. Is boarding school like Harry Potter? It is like Harry Potter, except... We don't have magics, our wall open with doors and our stairs don't move and um, when we get grounded we don't end up with scars on our, um, on our bodies but yeah pretty much except for the capes as well and the brooms and pretty much everything. But it's a great experience anyway and so if you're looking for a not so boring muggle experience boarding school is going to be amazing. So yeah, this, this is the end of my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions about boarding school, leave them down below. And I really hope you, you know, like this video. Feel free to subscribe. It would really, really help me out. And I'll see you next week with a new travel and a new fashion videos. Until then, have fun. Bye.